Hello there, I'm Kirk, a filmmaker based in Melbourne, Australia, and today I wanted to share my thoughts after using the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame for the last few weeks. Personally, I am an avid Blackmagic user. I've been using my own personal 6K Pro for the last two and a half years now, even recently shooting around about 80% of my upcoming short film, The Three Wise Men, on the Pocket 6K Pro. And I've been really excited to use this new camera, the Cinema Camera 6K full frame. And spoilers, I'm really upset I have to give it back. Now, what I wanna do first is go through the setup that I had with the Cinema Camera 6K, and I kept it very, very lightweight and nimble. So I didn't use a cage with any of my shoots with the Cinema 6K. Instead, I used a NATO rail on the top of the camera alongside a NATO handle and then plugged in a T7 SSD straight into the camera. And I attached the T7 SSD using the small rig clamp up on the top, which also had a smaller clamp to be able to feed the cable through so it didn't get knocked around. And then I fed the cable underneath the lens straight into the USB-C port. And alongside with the great hand grip that is uh, coming from the uh, Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K as well as the top handle, I was really secure and I could do whatever handheld movement. So as much as people don't like the body for this, I find it really helpful because unlike a lot of other smaller DSLR style bodies, the handle is huge and it fits my big hand. So I quite like using that setup. In terms of the lens setup I had, 80% of all the shots I did get was actually using my vintage Helios 44.2 alongside an Earth EF2 L mount adapter, which is the cheapest way I could figure out to how to adapt my previous lens that I've used on my 6K Pro without having to spend, I think it's about $400 or so on the Sigma adapter. And what's really great about that setup is that because the Helios 44.2 is a vintage lens, there is no need for electronic throughput, which means I could go with that cheap affordable option. And to essentially combat the main issue I had with the camera, which I'll get into in a little bit, which was not having built-in ND filters, which is maybe not necessarily an issue but something that uh, I wasn't quite used to. I used a ton of different step-up rings and an awesome Freewell ND filter magnetic system combo, which is something that's great. Essentially, you put on a plate on top of the main section of the lens, and then you can attach a lot of different ND filters. There's a three, eight, as well as a 10 stop ND filter used from the Freewell system. And they sent over this awesome ND filter pack, which came with the three ND filters, the step up ring alongside of a magnetic plate to put onto the top of the step up rings there. And I could add and remove ND filters as quickly as I could, as well as a CPL and UV filter, which I didn't use really as much at all. It was mainly just the ND filters. So that was a great way for me to be able to quickly swap NDs when out and about. So carrying around these ND filters was really great and especially because it comes in a nice leather pouch too so if you are looking for something to quickly attach and, and put on I definitely recommend these and all the shots that you'll see in just a moment and throughout this video have been utilized with these ND filters. So that was my setup there, how I used to get every single one of these shots. The only other slight exception is that I did occasionally use the Canon 16 to 35 EF mount. Now the big problem with that is that it is a still photography camera and it does require electronics to adjust the aperture, but I always kept it at 2.8. And uh, because my adapter doesn't have any, ele any electronics pass through, that's just one thing to keep in mind and you would have to get the Sigma adapter if you wanted to do that. So let's get into some of the things I absolutely loved about the camera. Now, now, the biggest thing I wanted to utilize when using the Cinema Camera 6K is that full frame open gate sensor. I have become quite obsessed with the 143 to 1 aspect ratio setup, especially after being very influenced by movies like Oppenheimer and Dune. I've always wanted to shoot in this format. I always find that my composition abilities actually are a little bit better when it comes to framing things in that 143 to 1 format and paired with my Helios 44 2 lens. I have to say, and in combination with the film grading tool that I utilize, Filmbox, this was by far the easiest way for me to get an amazing look out of the camera with as minimal amount of post-production work as possible. The Helios 44.2 is quite known for the swirly effect that is inside of the bokeh when you are shooting. And it's something that I did slightly notice when using it with my 6K Pro, but albeit I was a little bit unimpressed by its performance there. But because the Helios 44.2 is really designed to be used with a full frame sensor or full frame film in the past, you could really tell how beautiful that swirl 
colors coming through when using it in open gate mode or even when you did crop it you could tell using that large sensor the swirl was so much more pronounced compared to using it with my super 35 sensor on the 6k pro apart from composition and just the look in general having the open gate sensor is also extremely helpful for shooting any type of uh, big work in the future especially if i wanted to do cropping so if i wanted to deliver material in 16 by 9 if i wanted to crop it even further i could deliver it at 235 or 239 to 1 and really importantly these days it's actually really easy to deliver this format in vertical format too you can have so much more headroom and legroom i guess you could call it uh to uh pan and shift and do things in vertical mode and it doesn't mean that i have to choose whether or not i'm going to shoot vertically or horizontally because when you do crop the 16 by 9 sensor on the super 35 camera uh, it's much much more cropped in but this is great to have that extra open gate capacity because i could really frame however i would like to in post now continuing with this camera it pretty much has all of the benefits that the 6k pro 4k pocket cinema 6k and the 6k g2 have but with the open gate sensor. So there's so much more to love in terms of what you can get out of the uh, actual sensor itself and all the benefits that do come with those previous cameras I mentioned come along with the 6K. I found that the workflow is pretty much identical. I'm using an M1 Max MacBook Pro and it all the editing is buttery smooth despite the extra resolution and everything. So I found no problems there. And I did allude to it before, but I really do actually like the 6K full frame body style that comes along with this camera. It's just really easy to hold. It's super comfortable and that five inch screen on the back is absolutely fantastic it's great i don't have to really rely on using another monitor or anything like that and it can be really subtle and low key which is how i filmed with it and you can even compact it down more i also had the opportunity to use the 6k full frame with an infrared filter now i was inspired by watching dune part 2 to utilize an open gate sensor similar to the re cameras that they used in dune part 2 but this time with an infrared filter and i found these ones off amazon they come in a four pack well there's 720 so it goes up to 720 to 950 ir and d and as you can see if i put this up to the sensor here or this camera but essentially what i'm saying is that the infrared filter darkens the frame so much like beyond a really high stop nd along with adding this red filter over the top of it because that's how the infrared light filter works which you then need to bring into post uh, to bring out the grayscale color to get the dune look you get these amazing black and white looks that makes the skin tone super smooth and that's something they use with a lot of the fade Routher sequences on the Harkonnen planet and uh, using these along with the open gate sensor really replicated that IMAX infrared look and I loved using that. So between the Helios lens, the Canon EF 16-35 lens and the infrared lens is how, the infrared filter sorry, is how I got all of these shots that you've been seeing on the screen so far. Now the biggest con when it came to using this camera or at least for me was the lack of built-in ND filters. Now they do get some flack sometimes because of color shift, but I love having them. It's so convenient being able to keep my aperture low as well as being able to flip through different ND filters quickly. Now I did have the Freewell Magnetic M2 system, which worked really, really great. And in fact, the uh, color accuracy between ND filters was really, really uh, accurate. And I found easy to grade and post and, and adjust. Uh, but despite the super easy magnetic clip-on, I did did miss having internal NDs uh, on the Cinema 6K. Now, obviously, given the flange distance of the 6K compared to the 6K Pro being very, very short compared to the uh, actual sensor inside the body, I understand they probably can't actually put any ND filters and I don't expect them to in the future, but we'll see. But that was the biggest con I found with the camera. Another small tidbit that I did have with the camera is that at open gate mode, the highest frame rate that you could shoot at was at 36 frames per second in high frame rate mode. I love shooting at 24 and being able to slow it down two times at 48 frames per second on my 6K Pro. So that was one small little issue that I had and I wish it went a little bit higher, but you can shoot at higher frame rates. You just have to crop the sensor in the end and no big deal, but that's one thing to keep in mind. And of course, this camera only shoots in B-RAW. Now, personally, it doesn't affect me at all. I always shoot in B-RAW. I love having the latitude to edit and adjust to ISO and other elements of the camera later, but the file sizes do get quite large when it comes to shooting in 6K open gate b-raw all the time but really all of those things aside if this camera just had built-in nd filters on the inside of the camera i would pretty much switch over straight away i think it's really the only thing that would hold me back from using this camera long term and switching over from the 6k pro having that open gate sensor is a format i'm really looking forward to explore more in the future and 
I'm honestly quite keen to building out a specific rig where I would be using an extra matte box or continue to use the Freewell ND filters on the front because they are very, very handy, but just not as convenient compared to using uh, the built-in NDs. But apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the footage I've shot with the full frame cinema camera 6K. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, and of course, do take care.